I rise tonight in opposition to House Bill 4323. When we go back to our districts and speak with constituents about this budget, can we in good faith tell them that this represents our best effort to address our crumbling roads and bridges? When we speak to a group of seniors, members, if I could have your attention, we have a colleague addressing us. The chair recognizes Representative Camilleri. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. When we speak to a group of seniors, can we in good faith tell them that this budget represents us keeping our promise to them of a financially sound retirement and stable quality of life? When we address the local township board or city council meeting, can we in good faith tell those leaders in our community that we are working to support their work as well as our local police and fire departments? When we face caregivers making sacrifices to care for a family member or patient, can we in good faith tell them that we're doing everything we can to support their work for our community's most vulnerable? This is a budget that we cannot, in good faith, defend to our constituents on these and a host of other issues. It doesn't represent our best effort to address the issues that my downriver constituents care about, and it doesn't address the priorities of folks from across the state. What are working families getting out of this budget? It's not clear that they get much of anything. It's not clear that opportunities for workers and their families will grow in any way because of this bill. What families want are decent roads and bridges. They want local first responders to have the resources they need to keep them safe. For years, people have asked for these things, and for another year, the state budget ignores those pleas. Families want to be able to provide their loved ones with support, especially seniors and the sick. And when they can't do it themselves, they want to know that caregivers and programs like Meals on Wheels will be there to provide food, care, and compassion. Under this budget, we fall short of giving families that guarantee. We can do so much better. As leaders in our communities, we have an opportunity to offer a vision for our state's future through the budget process, that we can identify our priorities and our values. And more often than not, we come together on recognizing our community's shared needs, whether that be job creation or population growth or attracting college graduates or supporting skilled trades. But this budget falls short and fails to make any kind of meaningful change to the short or long-term direction of our state and its economy. This budget fails to take seriously the shared goals and values we have here and we should have as legislators. Let alone, this budget fails to address the problems we face currently. It fails to address the problems we know we'll face in the future as well. I urge a no vote on this bill. Thank you, Representative.